Are you wondering how other local businesses are able to add their business on Google Maps for people to discover their business online? Well, it's actually a very straightforward process to adding and managing your Google Map listing, also more commonly known as your Google Business Profile. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time here, thanks for joining me. I hope you're all doing well. Now today in this brief tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of how to add your local business to Google Maps using the free Google platform called the Google Business Profile. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and add your local business to Google Maps. <music> Okay, so to add your local business to Google Maps completely for free, the first thing that you need is a free Google account. Now, if you currently do not have a free Google account, simply head over to your browser and type in accounts.google.com and that's going to take you here. Then simply navigate down to create account to create your free Google account. And for all those that already have a free or paid Google account for their business, simply head over to your browser and type in google.com forward slash business and that's going to take you here. And if we navigate over to the right hand side, you can see an example of what your local business will look like on Google search when your potential customers search for either your business or products and services that you offer. And this is exactly what we want to do. We want to create a free Google business profile. And that's going to allow your potential customers to call through to your business, find where your business is located if you have a physical storefront, and then simply visit your website and more. Okay, so first things first, simply navigate over to Manage Now and click here. Then if you're asked to sign in to your Google account, go ahead and use the Google account that you just created or the Google account that you use for business and then sign in with that Google account. And once you've signed in, that's going to take you here. You can also navigate up to the top right hand corner and check that you have the right account selected. Then simply navigate down to type your business name and go ahead and type in your exact business name. Now it's important not to add extra keywords into your business name unless your business name has those extra keywords. Okay, so for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and create a cafe listing called Cindio Cafe. Now, if you notice that your business already exists down here and you can find your business, what you want to do is go ahead and claim that listing. However, if you do not find your business name and you just see this information here, create a business with this name, then go ahead and click on your new business here. Again, simply navigate down and make sure that your business name is correct. Then come down to business category and add the category that best represents your business type. And as you can see for the business category cafe, we have all these options up here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and click space. And this local business is just a general cafe. So I'm going to go ahead and click on cafe. And then once you've located the most suitable business category, simply come down and click on next. And here Google will ask if you want to add a location customers can visit like a shop or office. And because our example local business is a cafe, we have a physical storefront. So I'm going to go ahead and click on yes. However, if you're a local business and you do not have a physical location that you want your customers to visit, then go ahead and simply click on no. And then you'll be asked to add the locations that you service. Then simply come down and click on next. And down here, all you need to do is add the physical address of your local business. Then once you've added the correct address, simply navigate down and click on next. Then Google will ask if your local business provides deliveries or home and office visits. So for example, our local cafe, we do provide delivery. So we're going to go ahead and click on yes and then come down and click next. And if you selected yes, then you'll have the option to add the different areas that you deliver to. Simply add those in here now. And you can always change and add additional locations later on. Then come down and click on next. 
Then simply navigate up to contact phone number and add your business phone number. This is the number that's going to appear on your Google business profile listing for your potential customers to call through to your business. Then come down and add your domain name, your website URL in here. If you currently do not have a website, you do not have a domain, simply navigate down and click on I don't have a website. Because this is an example listing, I'm going to keep I don't have a website selected, then I'm going to come down and click next. Now, if your local business currently does not have a website similar to our example business, then what you can actually do is create a free Google Sites website through your free Google account. And if you're interested in learning how to create your own free website with Google Sites, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of creating your own free website in minutes. Now, it's also important to note that the Google Business Profile also offers a free automatic website builder, which basically means when you add all your business information, you can automatically generate a website inside your Google Business Profile. However, this is a very limited and barebone website builder. However, if you want to understand and identify the best website builder for you between the Google Business Profile and the Google Sites Website Builder, then again, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through a comparison of your two free options that you can go for if you currently do not have a website. Okay, so once you've arrived at this verification page, you'll see a few options to verify your new Google Business Profile listing. Now, depending on your business category, you'll see a few different options. Some businesses will see this phone number verification option where you can receive the verification code via a phone call or a text message. You can also navigate down and see if there are other options for you to verify your account. And the quickest way to verify your account is either through a phone call or text message. And the slowest way is through a postcard. Now, if you can only see the postcard option, then what Google will do is send you a postcard with your verification code that you then need to enter into your Google Business Profile listing. And that's going to verify your account. However, this can take up to 14 days to arrive at your business location. However, what I've noticed is a lot of local businesses are seeing it a lot later. The longest time was three months. And so there could be delays. However, they've gotten a lot faster recently since everything's slowly coming back to normal after the pandemic. Okay, so that's the last step to verify your Google business profile so that your local business can appear on Google Maps. Now, you might be wondering, how can you actually manage your Google business profile listing? Well, to do that, you can simply head over to your browser again and type in google.com forward slash business. And that's going to take you to your business profile manager where you can manage all your business information. And this is where you can manage your business from the back end. For example, if we navigate over to the navigation bar over on the left hand side, this is where we can visit our home and see basic information about our account. Below that, we can create posts about our business. We can also add and update business information. We can also see analytics and insights about our listing. Below that, we can review and respond to reviews that our customers have left about our business. You can also view messages, add photos, products, services, and you can customize your Google Business Profile website here. You can also add additional users to help you manage your account. Now, I'm not going to go into too much information about managing your Google Business Profile. However, if you're interested in learning more about how you can further optimize your Google Business Profile and rank higher in front of your competitors on Google search, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will help you optimize your Google business profile. Now you can also manage your listing from the search engine. So for example, if you type in your business name, once you're verified in Google search, you can actually simply manage your profile from Google search by simply coming down and clicking edit profile. You can also promote your listing and you can also manage the reviews from your customers. If we navigate down further, you can quickly complete your profile, add photos, create an offer. And if we navigate across, we can create an ad with Google ads, update your customers by creating a post and more across here. 
And that is everything we wanted to cover in this beginner's tutorial, helping you add your local business to Google Maps. And there we have it for this brief Google Business Profile tutorial, walking you through the process of how to add your local business to Google Maps. Now, if you have any questions about this process, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.